Good morning everyone. I am Shibulal. I am one of the co-founders of Infosys. I retired in 2014. Currently I focus on my family office and the foundation activities. So this was in 1981. Mr Murthy was a very charismatic leader. We had a great team. A set of people whom I respected and admired. <coughs> It was an opportunity for an adventure to travel abroad, meet new people. I believe the first time I met Mr Murthy was when I was working at Bombay Electric Supply and Transport. I don't remember the exact occasion. <coughs> I used to meet him often at the computer center. where we both used to come in the morning the idea of infosys was introduced i believe when i was in his office in patni computer center so in 81 i traveled to us I was stationed in Boston during one of the most uh, <coughs> terrible winters. That was a very difficult experience. Probably we were unprepared. Did not have the financial means to have a car. did not even probably had the right set of clothes so <clears throat> that was a difficult experience in 87 i used to try and sell Infosys to Digital Equipment Corporation. This was the first direct customer to Infosys. By then, Kumari was driving. I was not. So we used to go to Maynard, which was quite far from my house. Selling was a new experience. Infosys was an unknown brand. Deck was a Fortune 500 corporation. So it was a difficult sale to make but we succeeded So remember Infosys started in 1981 That was a different world India was under the license raj India was not a non brand the world was not ready for India 
the world was not ready for software from India. When we travelled, people used to ask about cows on the road and snake charmers. So there were a number of challenges when Infosys started. On the way, many things changed and the rest is history, decisions at Infosys were collective decisions. We used to debate, discuss, argue, fight, but finally come to a decision, sometimes together, sometimes Mr. Murthy will take the decision. And once we decided, we will all work together towards making that decision a reality. So that, I believe, is in 2003. So Infosys had completed 22 years and we had achieved for the first time a billion dollars in revenue. More importantly, we knew that the growth trajectory will allow us to reach $2 billion very soon. In fact, it happened in 23 months. So the first billion took 22 years and the next billion took 22 months. I think that is when for the first time it dawned on me that we are on a great path. I don't believe in hindsight and in regrets. Every decision which we took was based on a set of facts which we knew at that point in time. So, if I do this all over again, I will do the same set of things. In many ways, Infosys personified the aspirations of India. It was a role model. It was a pioneer. It created large amount of employment. More importantly, it created hope and confidence. It was a first in many ways. It was the first company to get listed on NASDAQ. It was the first company to have an employee stock option plan. It had the highest levels of corporate governance. It had a value system which resonated well with the middle class values. I can go on and on, but I believe these are some of the reasons. So the vision was defined early on.
I'm sure it was formulated with a very long perspective. Something which will last for the 30, 40 years to come. The values were more tacit in the beginning. They were unwritten rules, articulated occasionally. Once we started scaling, there was a need to make them explicit, articulate it clearly. And that's how sea life happened. So the Infosys vision was to be a globally respected corporation. That vision was formed right in the beginning. And in many ways, the organization has stayed true to this vision with a strong set of values. Today, Infosys is truly global. It's highly respected. And in any sense, in a true sense, it's a global corporation. It has stayed true to the values of transparency, non-hierarchy, fairness, integrity. So I'm very proud of Infosys' vision and values. There has been so many compliments over the years. So, I will speak about the last one. Yesterday, I happened to meet one of the ex-board members of Infosys, Claude Smarja. He was here to meet my son and happened to see me in my office. He came inside and he was telling my son what Infosys represented. The contribution Infosys made in being a role model, creating hope and participating in the transformation of this country. It was very nice to hear that. One of the earliest moments I cherish is the Maiko incident where Mr. Murthy and me we worked non-stop for 10 days to install the DG MV8000 in Maiko. And the last day, we had 
interrupted the sleep of the micro IT head to clarify a doubt we had the next day they were supposed to start the acceptance test which was meant to last maybe 20 to 30 days because of the transparency we showed mr venkatrajan the head of it at myco announced that he will accept the mission for going most of the testing because of the trust he had in infosys i cherish that moment for the level of transparency we showed and the level of trust we could build with a client so the last 40 years has been a wonderful journey we have laid a strong foundation we have built a global corporation as mr murthy used to say the true competitive advantage is speed and innovation for so for the next 60 years to reach the 100 year milestone infosys need to remain agile willing to change willing to learn willing to transform willing to take advantage of every new technology and exhibit speed and innovation